Cells rely on receptors expressed on the cell surface to relay key signals that lead to crucial functions, including division and migration. Therefore, we studied how receptors are returned to the cell surface once internalized. Upon internalization, structures known as vesicles are cut from the membrane in a process known as fission. These vesicles fuse to become part of an internal compartment called the early or sorting endosome. The receptors are then sorted for degradation or recycled back to the plasma membrane. For this transport to occur, the endosomal membrane needs to first bend outward and bud to form new vesicles, followed by fission to release them. The actin cytoskeleton and proteins that control actin are required for this membrane budding and fission. EHD1 is a protein that hydrolyzes nucleotides and appears to function later in the membrane fission process. Since the mechanisms of endosomal fission were not well understood, one of our goals was to better understand how the early and later endocytic fission events are coordinated. We identified an interaction between EHD1 and an actin regulatory protein called coronin 2A. Coronin 2A knockdown caused unusually large branched actin protrusions, suggesting that coronin 2A blocks actin branching. We showed that loss of coronin 2A or EHD1 impairs endosomal fission and endocytic recycling. Our findings suggest that branched actin is initially involved in endosomal membrane budding. The branched actin may sterically prevent EHD1 from reaching the vesicle neck. Coronin 2A then turns off actin branching so that EHD1 can come to the vesicle neck and complete the fission process. Our study provides new insight into the way that endosomal fission events are coordinated, shedding new light on how receptors recycle and how cells interact.